गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट अल्टरनेटिंग ग्रुप्स टू प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 3208 लेट्स नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देयर इज अ सर्कल ऑफ रेड एंड ब्लू टाइल्स यू आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजर कलर्स एंड एन इंटीजर के द कलर ऑफ टाइल आई इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय कलर्स एट आई कलर्स एट आई इक्वल 0 मींस दैट द टाइल आई इज रेड कलर्स एट आई इक्वल्स 1 मींस द टाइल आई इज ब्लू An alternating group is every k contiguous tiles in the circle with alternating colors. Each tile in the group except the first and the last one has a different color from its left and the right tiles. Return the number of alternating groups. Note that since the colors represent a circle, the first and the last tiles are considered to be next to each other. Now, if you look at an example here, then this first example is giving you an array of size 5. That means there are 5 tiles. Now all these tiles are arranged in a circular way. So you have zero, one, zero, one, zero, and they are all arranged in circular fashion. So you can assume that this array is circular. Now you have to find out all those windows or all those tile arrangements, k consecutive tiles where all of them are alternating. So if you find out, uh, I mean the first window, let's say from this. then you can just check the 010 are they alternating yes they are alternating 010 so it is fine this will contribute to count 1 then you can take 101 this is also alternating you can take 010 this is also alternating then you check this 100 because since this is cyclic you will have to take 10 from the end and the 0 from the beginning is it alternating the 100 is it alternating no because there is a 0 after this 0 right to the left and right of every internal uh, value in the window you should have different value that means if there is 101 uh, then if you consider the internal value then to the left it should be 1 to the right it should be 1 while if i had just extended this array and i would have said that okay i will have a 1 here then to the left hand side of this one should have been a 0 which is true and to the right you should have a zero but you have a one so this will be invalid totally right if you consider this window okay so that is how this 100 is invalid now if this is invalid can we form other windows yes you can form other windows too you can include zero from the end and zero one from the beginning so if you include zero from the end and zero one from the beginning then you see zero zero one is non alternating because zero being internally present to the left you should have a 1 to, to to the right also you should have a 1 but this is not big getting followed and after this you cannot start with again from 0 because you already checked starting from 0 right so all of these indices have to be tried one by one to be the starting point okay so whenever you have to create a k size window from let's say index 0 you can just iterate from index 0 k times and you can just check if they are alternating or not alternating simply right so for every window like let's say this is the first window and this was alternating for the next window again you will start at 1 again for the next window you will start at 2 so you will iterate for k items for every start point and you know there are n start points and there are k uh, i mean the k is the size size of the window right so the time complexity to solve according to this approach will be order of nk which can be simply done by using two for loops right now let's see if this nk approach will be working here so you know that the count value was 3 here because we had three valid windows right so if you look at the constraint then it is mentioning about the colors length will be minimum 3 and it can go to maximum 10 to the power of 5 the k value can go till colors dot length which is again 10 to the power of 5 So both values can be 10 to the power of 5. Therefore, an NK algorithm will make it 10 to the power of 10, which is way beyond your 10 to the power of 8, and definitely it will not run in one second. Okay, because 10 to the power 8 is the standard for one second. So we need to do something better than this. Definitely something better than order of NK. Now let's look at some observation which will help us devise a optimal algorithm. Now in this particular observation, we can actually imagine about two cases. So the first case is about we may not have any alternating window of size k. Actually, it is an extreme point to mention that we do not have any alternating window of size k. In this given example, if I have five items and if the k value was four, 
then you can imagine about all the windows this is non alternating because to the left you have a zero okay and to the right you have a one so you should have one on both the side so this is non alternating again 0 1 0 0 is non alternating due to the double zeros present 1 0 0 0 is not alternating double 0 0 0 is not alternating 0 double zero one is not alternating so there are no start position from where you can form a window size k and say that it is alternating right so that is why the count in this case is zero fine now if the k value was equals to three then then what would have happened then this one here zero zero one would be null alternating but if you consider this zero one zero then this will be alternating and this will be the only alternating one now if you start at this one this will be non alternating at this zero it will be non alternating and at this last zero as well it will be non alternating right so if the k value is 3 the answer will be 1 if the k value is 4 the answer is zero in this case right so this is one extreme case another extreme case is all the windows may be alternating like in this case if you take this as an array and if you consider the window size to be 4 then you check it out the first window is alternating yes second window is alternating yes the third window is alternating yes absolutely the fourth window is alternating yes the fifth window is alternating yes and the sixth window is also alternating so all the windows are alternating therefore the count is 6 in this case so these are just the two extremes which i have shown you now whenever you imagine about the window like in the previous example when you were imagining about this 0 1 0 the first and the last item of the window are actually exceptions because there will be no item to the left hand side and there will be no item to the right hand side we will not be comparing the left for the leftmost point in the window and the right for the rightmost point on the window and that is why this 0 1 0 actually became valid because this first zero was not compared to the left side and the last zero was not be compared with the right side okay so that is the exception so i hope the observation is clear now how to count the valid windows we can actually use two pointer technique to count the valid windows what we have to do is we have to take an l pointer and an r pointer simply okay and we just have to find out uh, how many valid windows are present so how to check it out you know that the window size is 3 so what you have to do is whenever you take the r pointer you it will always be l plus 1 and you always check with the previous item if it is alternating then increase the r value check with the previous item if it is not the same as this one then increase the r value again you check with the previous item if it is not equal then increase the r value if these these adjacent values are not equal you increase the r value if the adjacent values are not equal increase the r value now in this case let's assume that the array is non cyclic in our problem it is cyclic but let's assume it is non cyclic then what will be the count of valid windows so your r will be actually traversing to the end let's say so it will be going to uh, to to the end and you will be stopping at 6 which is the limiting point so in this case the slice that means the contiguous run of element which is actually valid will be of size r minus l so r is 6 l is 0 so r minus l will be equals to 6 right so the slice which is valid which is alternating is 6 size now out of this 6 size a b c d e f right so this is a six size if you want to find how many three size valid windows are present because you know that it is alternating right that's what we have found if it is already alternating and this this entire slice or the substring or the subarray is of size 6 then how many three size subarrays are present here you can start here or you can start here at these points you can start right so the first window is abc second window bcd third window cde fourth window def you can easily find it by saying that the the count will be equals to r minus l and to this you subtract k value so what will be the value 6 minus 3 which is equals to 3 but you know that it is 4 you have to add 1 to adjust the inclusivity of the index okay so if you do a dry run you will get it yourself but i am saying that the number of windows will be r minus l minus k plus 1 so this is how you can count the valid windows so in this case you can just remove this plus 1 okay and say that the window size will be r minus l and the sliding windows will be r minus l 
minus k plus 1 or another way to write it is in this way. Whichever one you prefer, you just write that. Now having understood this, if this array was cyclic, then will the R be stopping at this index 6? Well, this R will be looping back to 0. But actually, I will be defining it a limit because the start position, the L is always the start position, okay? So the start position cannot go beyond 5. So if you are starting at 5, then in the worst case, where can R go? R can go to this index plus K minus 1. That means if you are starting with, let's say, 0, if the L value is, let's say, something, let's say, 0, then the R value, the maximum R value, I mean, the size of the window, if, if you just consider the size of the window, then that will be equals to L plus K minus 1, right? Because all the windows must be of size K. So if you consider in the worst case that the L pointer can go to 5, then the R value can go to 5 plus the K value being 3 minus 1, which is 7. So if you consider it in the mod format, which is mod of n, where n is the array size, which is equals to 6, then you will be going to maximum value 1. So r can be looping back to value 1 or you can say that incrementally it will go maximum to value 7. That is how you define the limit, okay, using the mod operation. So let's see how to search and count the number of valid windows using all the previous ideas that we have learned using the two pointer technique and uh, this will be a cyclic search so now this array is cyclic so what we have to do given an array of size 7 and the k value being 4 the l that means the start of each of the window will go from 0 to 6 as you know right you cannot have any other start points and and therefore the r value that means the end point of each of the window if the start point is 0 then the end point will be 3 because the k value is 4 the window size is 4 so if the L value is 6, then the R value will be 6 plus K minus 1, which is 9. And definitely the index beyond 6 is not present. So in order to cycle back, you have to always take mod of N as operation. So that once you go to index 7, then you should come back to index 0. Okay, so that is what we will be doing. Now in this case, the L will start at 0 and the R will start at 1. Now if you are considering that maybe the window size will be less than 3, then in the constraint it was already mentioned that the k value will be greater than or equals to 3 and the array size will also be minimum 3 fine so now in this case if the current value and the previous value are not equal then move keep move moving the right pointer because they are alternating right but if they turn out to be equal the right pointer will stop here so the right pointer stops at index 3 fine if it stops at index 3 then you know that from 0 to 2 you can form valid windows now how many valid windows can you form if your r minus l that means the current run of alternating items like in the previous page we had seen the current run of alternating items this must be greater than or equals to k so that you can have a window of size k which is valid isn't it because if the alternating window was of, of only two size which is 0 comma 1 then that do not make any sense because you cannot form a three size valid window out of two elements because maybe the next element was not alternating right so you need at least k size of the window so what is r minus l here the r minus l value is 3 minus 0 which is 3 okay now here the k value is 4 so will this be valid it will not be valid so if this will not be valid then what we will be doing is we will be updating this l to the r value because nothing in between no other start point can be valid because if you try starting with 1, uh, you will be again getting the condition in between this index 2 and 3 that it will break, right? If you start at 2 again, you will break at 3. So if from 0 you you broke at 3, then at, a, at any given point 1 or 2 in between, you will always break at 3. So there is no point in trying all these positions, right? So your L will be updated to R and again R will be updated to L plus 1. And now you again repeat the process. So if you repeat the process here, where you check with the previous item, yes it is alternating, check with the previous item, yes it is alternating, check with the previous item, yes it is alternating, the R value being 7 means the R is pointing to this 0. So check with the previous item. So this one is 0 and this one is 1. So it is alternating, right? 0 and 1. Move to the next value. So the R value becomes 8 means you are at index 1. So check with the previous item which is this 0. So it is alternating. So till what point should you move? 
you will be calculating the limit value which will be equals to 9 in this case right so if this is alternating let's move till 9 so your r value will be at 2 check with the previous item and yes it is alternating so at 9 we will be stopping that means at 2 we will be stopping so out of this where is your l l is your 3 r is at your 9 so the r value will move forward right and it will stop at 10 so how many elements are there in between 10 minus 3 which is equals to 7 so 7 items are in between you can say a b c d e f g okay so there are seven items so all these are alternating you know that it, they are alternating so you can take out the valid windows out of it so how many valid windows can you form of size 4 you can think about the sliding window and this is the first window second window third window and fourth window so there will be four windows right and how can you find it you can just do r minus l which is actually the count of elements in between which was seven in this case so this will be seven seven minus the window size here four and plus one because even if the size was four you would be counting one for it right so four minus four will become zero but you should count one for it and that is why a plus one will get added so this will make it four so the count here becomes four and this is where we stop okay because the right pointer has hit the limit and so if the left is getting updated the left will be updated with this index 10 so left actually goes out of bound so we will be stopping here right so this is the entire approach and i hope it is clear it is based on variable size sliding window you using the two pointer technique now the time complexity is order of n because we are going through the entire array maximum two times not more than that and this space complexity is order of one let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the colors and the value k and uh, we'll be finding the size of colors taking the count value zero the left pointer to be zero and the limiting value will be n plus k minus one this limit is for the right index now i'll be processing for all the starting positions of l so the r value will always start at l plus one which is just the next item of l and then we will keep on checking if the previous item is not equal then we will keep on move moving to the right until we hit the limit or uh, the two adjacent items are actually equal right so when we break then I can find out the number of items in between the L and R value by doing R minus L. And if the number of items are greater than equals to K, then at least we can find out a valid window. So how many valid windows we can find? R minus L minus K plus one. Okay. And this will be added to the count of total valid windows. And after doing this, the L will be updated to R. Okay. So the L will move to R because any start any starting position in between will not matter now we have counted all the windows all the valid windows that we could form and so when l is updated to r in the next loop again r will be updating to l plus one and again we will repeat the process and at the end we will be returning the count of all the valid windows so this is the entire code and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you